YouTube what's good this is um, a response video to um, a question I got um, and the question was why do black men hold black women to a higher standard than white women and um, and I and I said to that to that person who has that question that I was gonna do a video to respond to it because there's so much to type inside the um, comment section and um and I thought about it and I and this is the way I look at it and I don't know where that coming from I don't know where that was coming from my video <laughs> because I was doing a video and I was just saying like how how you know the black women can use a lot of profanity and have a lot of mouth and I was just saying to the men you know that a woman like that you don't want to you know mess with and. One thing I do notice, it's not every woman, but some women, like, like they struggle when you try to hold them accountable. Like, when I get on here, oh, men, dogs, men be doing it wrong. And, you know, oh, it's a grown boy. They they happy. Oh, yeah, amen. But when I start giving them constructive criticism about them, then it's, they sort of look like, hey, you know, I'm putting down black women. I don't know if that was towards me because I know I said a lot of black women got a mouth and they use profanity. And that is true. Not all black women, but a lot do. A lot do. And that what make the black women look bad. That's what I was saying. I wasn't holding no race to a higher standard. Nothing like that. But I was just giving out, the way I look at it, I was just giving out constructive criticism. And one thing that as a coach, you know, I can say all the good stuff, but sometimes I gotta, I gotta hold you accountable too. And what I was really saying there, that that is a reason. That could that's one reason it could be why a lot of a lot of women are single, a lot of black women are single because that reason right there. That could be something hindering you from getting a good man. No man, I don't care what color they are. No man want a woman. You know, saying with all that mouth and cursing and all that kind of stuff. So I don't know if that person took that what I said and made it seem like I'm holding like black women to a higher standard because I did say that in one of my videos. And don't get me wrong, like I told you before, I love my black women. I, I really do. I really do. My opinion, it's just my opinion. There's no other woman in the world that's more beautiful than our black sisters. I love my sisters. But some some of my sisters need to grow. That's all I'm saying. They need to grow. And they need to get over that hurt. Because they're not bad women. They just hurt. They just hurt. And they need to understand that you don't have to be like that. And I'm telling y'all from what I see. You know, I follow. I, I, I subscribe to a lot of black women who drive trucks. They got their trucking channel. And every one of them that drive truck. Nigga on YouTube, they just curse and curse and curse. Mother L. Oh my God. I'm like, why? Why y'all just can't do a video without that cursing? You're making yourself look bad. You're making the other black women look bad. That's all that's all I was saying. That's what that's what that's what that was coming from. So now if you are a black woman and you know you don't act like that and you that's not you, then that shouldn't be no no problem with you. So maybe I stepped on somebody's toes. And if I stepped on your toes, get it right. Don't 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 get upset and, and be like, oh, why, 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 why everybody holding the black women to a high standard? Because that don't prefer to me. I don't hold no racist women to a higher standard. That I was just making a statement and a true statement that a lot of our black women got that mouth. And that one thing, and that is a hindrance. From them getting the good man that they want. A good man is not attracted to that. Straight up. A grown boy, he don't care. And that's the only one you're going to attract. He don't care. All you want to do is get between your leg. You can talk crazy all you want. But a real man, he don't want that. You know, he don't want that. You know, he want, he want a woman that's quiet, soft-spoken, laid back with a sweet, humble spirit. I'm talking about a girlfriend, a good man that y'all want. That's what they want. And one thing women don't understand, some women don't, I ain't going to say all, 
The worst thing you can do to a man is disrespect that man. Disrespect that man. And way how you do that is with your mouth. Once you disrespect a man, he gonna he gonna go in his shell. And he got man, we stubborn. He like we was always taught, hey, don't show your feeling, keep it all in, be strong, suck it up. And we hold all the anger in there, and then what we do, we go to another woman and we hurt her. See, that's what I'm trying to say. See, the women who got in the mouth like that, the women who cursing, disrespect a man like that, them the one who making it hard for the good women who don't do that because you hurting all these good men. Cause a lot, some of these men are good men. And you hurting all these good men. Now, get what? He going to hurt the next woman because in his mind, all, all women are the same. It's not right. I'm not saying it's right, but... It, it is what it is. And that, that is the reason why a lot of our black men are going to the white women because they're thinking that the grass is going to be green on the other side. But what they don't realize that if even though that grass may be green on the other side, you still got to water that grass. Every grass needs to be maintenance and water. So they're going to go to the white woman and think if they're going to be pictures in cream, get what? Every, every race got their issues. Not just the blacks. White, Spanish, just every race, ain't, ain't, no, ain't no perfect women. That one thing men don't understand. Ain't no perfect women. Every woman going to have they, they issue. What, no matter what color they are, ain't no perfect men. We, we all are not perfect. That's why the Bible say love covers a multitude of faults. That means we going to have some faults. Everybody got faults. Women and men, black and white. So the men who marrying the white women and saying, oh, the black women in here, don't focus on what they doing. Because trust me, if they go over to the white women with that nonsense, get what? They're going to get the same, they going to get the same results. And I know a friend. I got a friend. He like that. I got a friend. He he used to date black women. Now he did nothing but white women. And get what? He catching hell with them too. He still ain't found a good, happy woman that that he got he got kicked out the place with one woman. See what I'm trying to say? One woman kicked him out because he, he didn't he didn't feel sorry that she her cat died or something like that. Her cat got sick or something. He, he you know, he was like, man, ain't nothing but a cat. But in her mind, oh, that's my son. He, and she thought him out the house. So every woman got their issues, bro. Every woman got their problems. So me personally, I don't hold no race of women to a higher standard. Now, while other men do that, that's they gotta answer that question. I don't know, but me myself, I don't, I don't pick at a certain race. Cause I know every race got their strength, and every every race got their weakness. And from what I observe, the black women need to improve with their mouth. That's all I'm saying. That's gonna hold you back in the professional world with jobs, with careers, moving forward in life. Nobody ain't gonna hire you with that attitude and that mouth. I'm trying to give you constructive criticism. I'm not trying to hold you to a higher Stand up. I'm just trying to get you because this criticism called black women need to hear this. Need to hear this. There's nothing like a classy, professional, God fearing woman that know how to talk and hold a conversation. That is a turn on to a real high value man. If you want to attract a high value man, you got to become a high value woman. That's all I'm saying. High value woman, men, high value men like high value woman. That's all I'm saying. So I wasn't trying to hold a certain race to a higher standard and put the black women down. Like I said, I love my sisters more than any. I love everybody. I love everybody, but I love my sisters. And I'm going to say this here. I'm not ashamed to say it. The black women are the most beautiful women I ever seen. But uh, not all of them, but a lot of them, they got a mouth. They got diarrhea at the mouth. They can't stop that cursing. And just da -da 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 -da. Not all of them, but a lot of them. And they making it hard for the good women. And all the brothers are going over. That's To me, that's what I'm looking at. So all the brothers going over to the white women call. They thinking all y'all that way. They putting all y'all in the same category. It's not fair. No, it's not fair. Does it make it right? No, it's not right. That's a devil. Yeah, it's a devil stand up. It's wrong. It's wrong. So get mad at the women who do that and child and set that example as a woman, as a black woman. 
you need to try to set that example by maybe starting your channel and maybe teaching black women how to be high value women, how to be feminine women, because that's what attract a good, strong black man. A good, God friend black man, high value, feminine women. That, that's a turn on. I'm telling y'all from my perspective. I'm a man. I know what we like. That what's going to attract a good man. So, don't don't look at it like, hey, you know, wow, you know, like, I was trying to hold black, you know, black women to a higher standard. I don't know why everybody else do it. But I'm just saying from my perspective, that's what I see. So, as a black woman, you do your part. You get yourself together. You get your life in order. And, and like, like one woman cut it, um, one woman, she commented, she was like, you know, raw, code raw, you talking about me, you know, I, you know, I, I curse sometimes, you know, and, and I, and my thing is to her, you realize what you're doing wrong, don't, don't feel bad about it, pray about it, ask God to help you contain your tongue, ask God to help you, ask God to help you, you know, to get over that, and, and then when you do that, you practice speaking, you know, the right way. Maybe you need to subscribe to a woman. Uh, 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 you know, you got a lot of females that are doing videos who teach feminine energy and, and all that kind of stuff. Subscribe to somebody like that and, and let her mentor you and model you on social media. Different ways you can work on your, your, um, your, your you know, your character, uh, what I'm trying to say. You're controlling your tongue. You know, that don't mean you're a bad woman. It just means you got a flaw. You got a witness that you need to improve on. That's all what I'm saying. You need to get improved on. And a lot of women like that who cursing men, who got a mouth, who disrespect men, they are hurting good men. They are hurting good men. And and they are they you don't understand as a woman, you can influence a man. You got strong influence on a man. And what it is, when so many men get hurt by that type of woman. Guess what? Oh, ain't no good women out there. They all wrong. They all bad. They all got a big mouth. All the black women like that. Oh, all the black women like that. So now they going to the white women. So I'm just trying to tell say this to you. Don't 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 be in that category. Don't get offended. If that's you, if you do a lot of cursing as a woman, work on that. And I guarantee you, you you'll improve on that because that could be the reason why you can attract the the man of your dreams. That could be the reason. You know, that, that one thing right there, that mouth, could be a reason. It could be a good man. Let me tell y'all something about me. I, I like to be transparent. It just mean I like to check my business to help somebody. You know, I, I like I told you before, I deserve everybody. I discern everybody's spirit. Everybody's spirit, I discern. I'm working. When I'm around people, I, I, I be listening to what they be saying and all that. About three, maybe about three years ago, three years ago, I was working for FedEx, right? And I dealt with a lot of women. I dealt with a lot of women because they had to sign for the package. I went to doctor's offices, everywhere, but our federal highway ain't full out of there. I dealt with a lot of women. And at that time, I wasn't single. I was with somebody. But, you know... I, I still observe women because that's just what I do. Everybody who come in, women in me, I observe. So, you know, I, this, this one particular stop I used to do, they had a lot of women in there. And then now, two women that stood out to me the most because they was attractive. One of them was more attractive than the other one, but the other one, she was less attractive. She was, she was more like a plain woman, you know, but she was attractive. She was less attractive. And the one that was less attractive, if I had a chance to choose out of both women, I would choose the one who less attractive. Even though she was attractive too, but she, was, she wasn't as attractive as the other one. Because the, the one that was most attractive, she had that mouth. And sometimes I would go in there and... I'm, I'm 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 putting the packages down, but while I'm putting the packages down, I'm hearing her cursing. Oh that that B this F this this, this F B. I'm like, 
I look at all that when I, come, when I choose a woman. I'm saying to myself, like, and both of them black women now. I'm saying to myself, like, that don't make no sense. I ain't saying that to her, but I'm saying to myself. Now, the, the one that's less attractive, I noticed about her, since I've been knowing her, she ain't say not one bad word. Not one bad word. So, if I wanted to choose, if I was available and single, I would have choose. I would choose the one with the with the less cursing. Who, who don't curse? Who, who, she was quiet, sweet, humble. And that's what I'm trying to say. That could be something that is hindering a lot of black women from getting a good black man. Cause you don't know who watching. You don't know who listening to you. A lot of men do what I do. They observe before they approach a woman. You don't know where your boy ass going to be. And you up here da, 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 just cursing all like a settler. You don't know who your boy ass is. Some of y'all, I want boy ass. You probably ran boy ass off. That's all I'm saying. Boy ass probably got, oh my God. You look good, but boy ass like, man, look at here. Boy ass don't want that. He want a roof. Understand me? So I don't hold no race of women to a higher standard. I, I just want to see our sisters, my sisters do better. I love all y'all. I love all race of women. White, black, Spanish. I love everybody. I don't, I, don't, I don't hold nobody to no higher standard or nothing like that. I don't do that. But what I want, but what, what I want to see, I want to see us blacks doing better. I want to see us doing better. We got to start doing better than what we doing. The black man too. The black man too. We got to turn our game up too. Yeah. But I don't just hold one race of people to, to a higher standard. I don't do that personally. But that's my answer to that question. If you feel that way about offending anybody, I want to say I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. That's not what my purpose was. But my purpose was to teach and educate. Because I was talking to the men when I was saying that. My purpose was to teach and educate the men on what type of women that they need to look for. That's all I was doing. If you that woman and you struggle with that right now, don't take it as judgment. Oh, don't get offense to that. That's something that you need to work on. That's all it is. All right? Hey, God bless you. This is Coach Rob. We'll talk soon.